10,000 years before the birth of Paul Atreides, we founded a sisterhood. The opportunity to tell a prequel story allows you to explore the early versions of the world building that takes place in the Dune proper story. It is very important to navigate where Dune prophecy fits within the Dune universe. Dune prophecy takes place roughly 100 years after the end of the Great Machine Wars, where humans overthrew thinking machines. Computers and artificial intelligence became a scourge on humanity. Basically like a war against AI. Humankind was nearly wiped out by the thinking machines. Coming out of this, there was a tendency to lean back onto the pre-computer time. So there has definitely been a new rise of an ancient futurism. Well, that's what's great about Dune. It's unpredictable in its futurism. Sometimes it's anti-future. That technology is forbidden! The presence of technology is very inflammatory. People are very afraid of it. The Imperium is really kind of shaped by the wars. It's something that threatens the harmony of what they have fought so hard to create. In our series, we get to go beyond Arrakis and see other parts of the Imperium. We're going to look at the capital, Seleucus Secundus, Kaladin, with the Atreides, Lankavale, homeworld of House Harkonnen and Wallach Nine, the homeworld of the Sisterhood. In the world of the Imperium, Seleucia Secundus is the one that is less affected by war and strife. The homeworld of House Harkonnen is called Lankivale. It's an ice planet. It's not a hospitable environment. Wallach Nine is a very sterile planet. Dune is very dry. Our oh, world is very wet. What this series does really well is it actually focuses on like humanity. At its heart, it's a drama. It's about power. It's about politics. It's about facing your fears and fighting for what you believe in. 